First, Troll Style DreamWorks logo. Second, I see you trying to do a little Trolls Pitch Perfect association with this acapella opening, and I really love it, because Anna Kendrick and Pitch Perfect are equally great. Also, I'm pretty sure I hear Zoe Deschanel in there, which is like foreshadowing the entire ending of this film. So like, yeah. Once upon a time in a happy forest, in the happiest tree, lived the happiest creatures. Let's get this out of the way. Once happiness. Obviously, happiness is a win. Dance and hug. Hugging. Hugging. And sing and dance. Hugging. 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 No one's gonna miss Kanye Troll. So, interestingly, since this movie does have some similarities to the Smurfs, this song is actually quite appropriate given that In the Hall of the Mountain King was played a lot when the Smurfs were in danger in the original cartoon. It's Trolls this! Alright, Internet Trolls, I don't know how or why you haven't done this yet, but you really should set one day a year aside for Trollstis, where instead of doing mean things, you try to make everyone happy. But, like, as a troll. So you'll still be trolling. Something to think about. Please give it up for your keeper of the trolls, your minister of happiness, your royal chef, me. Ah, I get it now. The grills aren't for cooking the trolls. They eat them raw, or alive. But someone who MCs her own intro is going to go above and beyond to add that extra flair to trollstis. Does make you wonder what they need a chef for. Maybe she's trolling them? <sighs> is that the last one? I think the Bergen underestimate the value of the anticipation of eating a troll. Which is also evidence that Trollstice is actually nothing more than Chef trying to justify her position in the kingdom. No troll left behind! Because, as he told his brother Oscar, You don't wear dead man's pants. Shove them down your ungrateful throats. Diane Lockhart finally letting loose. Although, if I'm being honest, to me, Christine Baranski will always be Val's mother, Catherine Archer. What's gonna make me happy now? Lady Glitter Sparkle shadowing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Reassurance, expectations, aversion expertly delivered as only John Cleese can do. A building a new city montage set to earth, wind, and fire is the fastest way to finally get to Anna Kendrick's harmonious voice. Harmony. 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 Oh no. I do taste delicious. Self-reflection. Or staring at your parents while they sleep. And honesty? that you should keep to yourself in the future? Seriously, Anna Kendrick would always be a win just for her voice, but she's also a fantastic, seemingly down-to-earth actress. So yeah, Anna Kendrick is always a win. You know I'm not the biggest musical fan, but even I can't stop the beat and help but feel united. Hair art installation. These two hair-connected trolls are wearing the same dress, just one of them's upside down. The question is, which one? Even in death, trolls are happy. Or is it just because he was a clown? Also, are these huts made of hair? That's some gross resourcefulness. And commitment to a motif. Thank you for providing safe passage, brother. Namaste. Whenever a character like this exists, I always find myself asking if they wrote the character and said, let's find someone who can pull off a holier-than-thou spiritual facade while only being slightly unlikable. Or they wanted Russell Brand in their movie and made a character for him. Either way, good match. Hugging. So I get that this kind of heedless attitude towards the Bergen is sort of annoying. I mean, that's a little... Come on, guys. It's only missing an arrow. But strap in for some theorizing. So trolls are really small, right? Small things with only a few exceptions don't live a super duper long time. Insects usually max out around a few years. Most rodents live less than a decade. So 20 years could be multiple generations. I know, King Peppy is still alive, but he's looking long in the tooth and maybe he found the troll fountain of youth. Either way, 20 years is more distance between events than I think we realize. It's easy to get complacent, especially for Poppy, who was so little when they left Bergentown, she's basically never faced adversity. Everybody stopped believing in the Force in a similar amount of time before Vader Force choked someone. But the way they show King Peppy's age through the frizzy and coarse white hairs is some great attention to detail. Gotcha. <laughs> wow, some spine shivers I didn't expect from a kid's movie. Bad Bergen! Bad, bad Bergen! Courage. Neil and Biggie and Guy Diamond and Creek! Uh, which Branch has some Creek-centric intuition. If I'm willing to store and drink my own sweat, which I am. Shouldn't waste it. JT sweat would make a killing on eBay. Why don't you try scrapbooking them to freedom? Solid burn, Branch. Well, what else are trolls good at? Seriously, no more internet troll jokes. Hugging. Love the scrapbooking sections. Everything feels like it exists in the same universe made of fuzzy fabrics. Leaves and flower petals, carnivorous plants are made of yarn, even snakes look like they were knit together and have fuzzy teeth. Sort of alleviates some of the terror that is the terrifying jungle. Hair stairs. You're breaking me down, movie. You're weaseling your way into my soul with this catchy music. Stop that. Nah, I love it. Poppy, you're turning poppy. Poppy? Seriously, the textures are amazing. I watched most of this movie on an iPad for the first time, so I had no clue how stunning and detailed this animation is. And the lighting is gorgeous. I can even be tricked into thinking spiders are kinda cute. Get back up again. 
and- <laughs> Saving Poppy. Hey, I know it's not all cupcakes and rainbows, but I'd rather go through life thinking that it mostly is instead of being like you. You might even say liking things is more fun than disliking things. Some people might say that. Hello darkness, my old friend. Goes to show, even a community built on happiness and positivity still recognizes the collective genius of Simon and Garfunkel. You ever wonder if people write these films and get performers interested in them because they'll have an excuse to sing and put their own spin on classics like this? Because I'm totally good with that if so. Branch really said bye 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 to that guitar. Well, we needed something to replace Baymax's ba la la la. Good luck remembering all those. Ta da! We're here. <laughs> Secret helpfulness. Ever, ever, never be happy. Never, never, never. say never. Not that Trolls never, isn't a good never, movie, but they're referencing a never, much never, better film. Never, say never. Chad, Todd. Impressive. She may be a meanie, but she remembered her line cook's names. Makes you wonder what happened to Fred, though. <laughs> Biggie is Simbaing Mr. Dinkles. So there are real recipes with real ingredient lists and directions on preparing trolls, which include such gems as, after spreading butter on the trolls, if they laugh, don't be alarmed. Trolls are ticklish by nature, requiring sushi-grade trolls and letting troll screams be your qualifier for melted chocolate temperature. And all of Bergentown will get exactly what they deserve! True happiness! <laughs> Self-aware irony. Also, some further proof that Chef knows what's going on and that happiness can be attained other ways, since it's clear she feels she needs to manipulate her way back into importance. Of course, everyone else in Bergentown will still be miserable, but that's not your concern. What exactly are you proposing? Bringing back trollsters? Sometimes people go into other people's mouths and they don't come out. Words to live by. Spoon surfing. Hello. Zoe Deschanel is always a win. Again, she would be just for her she and him voice, but she also adds so much to this movie. She's in love with the king. What are you talking about? Bergens don't have feelings. Another hint that maybe the Bergens don't need to eat trolls. If you can have love and sadness, happiness should just be another attainable emotion. Celebrate good times, come on! It's a celebration. Shh. There's never not a good time to celebrate. There is no bright side here, none. There's always a bright side. Hey! Optimistic realism and irony. I smell like gravy. Honesty. All your insecurities. Hey! Why isn't this one singing? <laughs> sing expectation subversion. Why won't you sing? Because singing killed my grandma, okay? That must have really been tearing up your heart. We're gonna keep going down this road, huh? I was so lost in song. I didn't hear my grandma trying to warn me. Red, watch out! If she'd only yelled, turn around. Bright eyes. I just assumed you had a terrible voice. No, no, it was like an angel's. That's because God must have spent a little more time on you. Jeez, three in a row? I swear, that's the last one. Hugging. I appreciate that even though they're making her over, other than clothes and trolley hair, she's still the same. They didn't take any liberties to make her more attractive. Oh, he'll know that I'm just a scullery man. No, 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 no. Ah, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'll be right here for you, Bridget. That is why she's a win. Look at you! Such a big, big boy. <sighs> the only sin in this movie really is not replacing all the male roles with Bree Starby. Is it? Lady in the Tramp Spectation Subversion. Do I? Do I like musicals now? After Moana, I, th I thought it was a fluke. Was I just not giving them a chance to get under my skin? Things to think about. Point is, somehow, don't ask me how, this Ariana Grande song is a win. I guess, do, do I like pop music now too? And if there is a better illustration of young love than flying through space making rainbow hearts, I don't want to know it. <laughs> Plus, hair teamwork. You remind me of someone. And hair trepidation. I miss you already. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> So I went back and I watched the Cinderella scene that inspired this, and man, they chase her down like she stole the crown jewels. So getting wheel burn on your mouth is actually a more realistic outcome. King Gristle's workout routine? More hair teamwork. Don't worry, trolls. She's further proving that no Bergen has ever cooked anything in their life by ruining both of her knives with that terrible sharpening technique, if you can even call it that. In a way, you could say, I'm doing this for you. Well, he ain't got no future or a family tree, but he knows what a prince and lover ought to be. Because he's a spin doctor. I told you they wouldn't get it. All right, all four of them are back together. Chad, Todd, Fred, and Silvio? No, that, that can't be right. 
Oh my god. I feel like I've noticed a trend with Smidge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's gotta be one of the saddest expressions of a person's will to go on being drained out. You with the sad eye. There are a lot of ways to get someone to feel better, but a personal serenade from Justin Timberlake? Although, I think lots of girls would actually lose all the color in their face as it hit the floor from passing out. That's why I love you. Is it weird that Justin Timberlake troll singing he loves Anna Kendrick troll makes me well up a bit? No? Not weird? Thanks, Internet. Wait, is that just from all the glitter she's blown at him over the years? Mr. Dinkles is a wife win. Pretty much every time he made that noise, she made a similar one. Guys, Mr. Dinkles is really freaking out! I see your true That's why I'm... Really, I'm just a sucker for duets. You showed me what it feels like to be happy, and I love you for that. Oh, man, how are you supposed to hold it together through the end of this film? Now Bridget is sacrificing her chance at true love to set her friend free? Following the hair motif, that fire is made of hair. I mean, kinda yup, yeah? Rescuing your new friend. Lady Glitter Sparkles. <laughs> Best approach ever. Uh, no! Whew, saving your branch. Got that sunshine in my pocket. Wait a minute, did they modify lyrics from the gorillas? Sunshine in a bag in my pocket. Talk about knowing your audience. My question is, did they make glitter covered trolls in the 80s and 90s, and did you own some? I didn't, obviously. Troll dolls. I had Cabbage Patch Kids, and also Goodbye Troll Dolls. <laughs> I'm not saying you'll involuntarily start dancing like Bergen, but I'd like to see you sit still during this song. I can't stop the Come up and what goes around comes around. I'm not saying your streets will be magically paved in rainbows and your whole town will dance the hustle meets thriller, but just try not smiling at dancing Bridget and Gristle. Our new queen! Queen of the Bergen too? Hug time is all the time. Hugging. There's a new trend in movies that keeps me watching even after the credits have started. And an Anna Kendrick Justin Timberlake duet of September is a good way to keep me watching. So what happens when you meet a Bergen? Does the Bergen sadness cancel out the troll happiness? Hashtag unanswered questions. So what you working with? Drop that body like so JT was all like, hey, we're gonna be in this movie together and I'm producing the music. You wanna like just pop out a top 10 song for fun? And Gwen was all like, yeah, sure, whatever. Troll. Trolls felt like an appropriate movie for this channel given that trolls are all about happiness and I tend to talk about happiness and also my niece really likes this movie. I've also seen a lot of indifference, which you'll always have with movies like this, but way more hate than I would expect. I'm not one to just excuse a movie as a kid's movie, but also chill, it's just a kid's movie. Although personally, I don't think that caveat is necessary here. I was definitely entertained from a narrative standpoint, and I laughed more than I expected. You better back off, girlfriend. <laughs> Much more in my watch through with my wife. If you don't know, something I learned a long time ago is that if you want to really enjoy and laugh in a movie, watch with the giddiest, happiest, easiest to please person you know, and you'll have a good time. And if my wife isn't available, I don't know. Anna Kendrick seems nice. And she was amazing in this film. Honestly, between JT, Zoe, and Anna, I don't know if there are celebs I want to be friends with more. Something about a willingness to poke fun at yourself and not take yourself too seriously. Even though her role was smaller, I have to give the most props to Zoe. She actually changed the tone and timbre of her voice for this role. Brava. <laughs> Every time I hear Christopher Mintz Plass's voice, especially if he's a villain, pseudo-villain, I expect him to be Chris D'Amico. So every time he isn't, I'm impressed. As is often the case with animated films, I like to look a little deeper and see what subliminal messages are washing over our youth. Some people claim this movie is an indictment of pharmaceuticals for mental illness. I think that's a little dumb. I really don't think Bergens are suffering from depression using trolls as Prozac. You don't know, some Bergens may need an SSRI just to get to their normal mopey selves. Which actually brings me to a theory I could almost buy. The trolls are, <coughs> let's say, any number of highly addictive, detrimental to your health and well-being illicit narcotics. And the Bergens just need a fix. I mean, Princess Poppy? The chef has to cook, even though he established that she doesn't do a whole lot of actual food cooking. More just pushing, if you get my meaning. And I mean, look at these guys. How's that crack den holding up, Bergen? And they're willing to do unspeakable things, like eat sentient creatures alive to feel good. Plus, they listen to gorillas. So... I don't really think it's about that either. I think more literally gluttony and overindulgence in general would be a better analogy. Really, consumerism, as in anything you consume. The Bergen need external things to give them joy, and they don't care what they have to do to get it. The troll's message is that happiness is actually inside you. 
And though they don't come right out and say it, probably because true love, being the root of happiness, could be construed as just as bad a message as eating trolls, I still think that's a large part of the message even if Poppy glosses over it. Gristle and Bridget find happiness through each other, through a relationship which I don't think has to be romantic. Even Branch's love for Poppy, which brings her color back, could be interpreted as a friend love. But even if not, Poppy returns to save Bridget because of the love they share. While it's a bit of an oversimplified message, statements against materialism and addiction and promoting love and fellowship are at least worth thinking and talking about. And every parent is set up with a really easy way to get out of buying their kids troll dolls. When they ask you for one, just say, Happiness isn't something you buy. It's already there. Then just start singing really loud and drown out their fleas. Get up the villain! Which brings me to the music, which, to my great surprise, I really enjoyed. More the covers than the originals. The use of Sounds of Silence was better than the Batflick meme, and the True Colors moment is something special to be sure. But even Get Back Up Again has been stuck in my head all week. The three leads really do have angelic voices. Also, this happens. So, a fun little film that might not go down in history is super memorable, but I'm sure anyone under the age of 13 has watched it at least a dozen times. Now that's nothing compared to the Emoji Movie, which I believe will go down in history, but for totally different reasons. My buddies at Wisecrack have some insight into what went wrong with that movie. They've also done a What Went Wrong for Suicide Squad and the last season of South Park. It's another one of their series like The Philosophy Of and Hidden Meanings that always opens up film and TV and goes into something I love doing as well. Wait, but why? So check their channel out, lots of awesome content, subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when their next video is coming. You won't be disappointed. Links in the description. Next week from me is something you've all been begging for and somehow needs to be defended. Spoiler alert, I loved it.